Hello everyone. I'm here to talk to you uh, in this small video primarily about the quality enrichment program or also what's called as the crash course program for the upcoming prelims 2022 examination. Now prelims as we all know is one of the most unpredictable steps in this whole exam cycle of UPSC and uh, to that extent uh, the program that we've designed here is largely keeping in mind the needs of the prelims exam. Now uh, what I'll be doing is I'll be taking the next couple of minutes to explain to you how we're going to conduct the program. But before that, I also uh, want to draw your attention to the fact that uh, prelims is often uh, a hurdle both uh, 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 for beginners or freshers and also those who have given the examination in the previous attempts. And the program here is designed keeping in mind the needs of those who have begun their preparation, who are freshers, who have been doing a certain amount of self-study or those who have also given the examination in the past and have attempted the examination in the past as well. So the program is a fairly comprehensive program and how do we go about conducting the program? Uh, let me give you a broad sense of that. What we intend uh, and what we've been doing over the past uh, six years uh, where we've conducted this program very successfully uh, is that we divide the whole syllabus into the sections of quality, history, economy, geography and environment, science and tech and current affairs. Now in this uh, section what we do is that for each of the subjects of polity, history, economy, geography and environment, we cover each of these areas in seven days each, roughly seven to eight and it may even take a couple of days more, but seven to eight days in, is in the duration in which we cover each of the areas. So for example, Shubra Ma'am and her team covers the polity areas in seven to eight days. I cover the history portion right from ancient, medieval, uh, modern art and culture in eight days. Uh, uh, Aman sir, for example, uh, is going to talk about the whole economy section again in roughly around uh, 7 to 8 days and so on and so forth. Now, uh, to cover the whole syllabus in 7 to 8 days for one subject is itself a challenging affair. And to that extent, uh, the classes are to be held 6 hours every day. So, classes are held 6 hours every day in a very intensive fashion so as to ensure that we cover comprehensively the whole syllabus from a prelims examination point of view. Uh, and at the same point of time, uh, these classes are complemented with workbooks in the sense that a workbook is where you as a student will get a certain amount of written content, but you'll have to add other content or additional content as is being discussed in the class. So the workbooks are something that you'll get for each of the subjects for polity, for economy, for geography, for history, for current affairs, for science and tech all of these subjects. You will get workbooks for all of these subjects uh, provided to you in a printed or a hard copy format and that is something that you uh, have to fill the workbooks coming to the classes. Now why are these workbooks so important because it is ultimately these workbooks that you must revise uh, before the prelims examination. Now the whole course duration if you add up the days here will come roughly around 40 days but we still keep a buffer of 5 to 10 days more and uh, because some more additional content etc and a bit of leaves here and there. So the course is roughly designed to be completed in 45 to 50 days and that will still, the course will start from 15th of February. As the course starts from 15th of February, uh, you can expect that uh, to uh, be easily completed by the first week of uh, April or by even roughly around 10th April uh, and that will leave you with a good 45 days for your self-revision because as we always say, Whatever we teach, no matter how much effort we put, uh, the same effort has to be complemented by even more effort from your side. And at the same time, you must have enough time to do self-study and revision. So that's also, that's why the course uh, will end somewhere around the 10th of April or even a bit before that, so that you have uh, a good uh, uh, 45 days or so at least to, for, to revise uh, yourself. At the same point of time, uh, uh, prelims examination, cannot be qualified without doing a good and a thorough uh, MCQ preparation as well. So for each of the subjects, uh, you will get uh, 30 questions every day uh, after the class and these 30 questions or MCQs every day after the class uh, is something that you must solve, uh, go back and solve them and if there are any doubts uh, uh, related to those MCQs, the teachers will discuss those MCQs uh, in the uh, class itself. So you will have an everyday MCQ practice also. But apart from that, uh, it is important also to, you know, do two, uh, is to do 100 questions in a full exam oriented pattern. 
and to that extent uh, there are going to be uh, six comprehensive uh, uh, tests also and these uh, will be full 100 questions tests and there will be uh, these comprehensive tests will also be uh, conducted primarily uh, uh, as a part of the prelims test series so the prelims test series is also included within the course and that will also be conducted as a part of the course also so this is broadly about uh, what all we're going to cover in the course and how we're going about uh, to cover the whole course so whether it's a prelims test series whether it's the daily mcq practice also whether there's a comprehensive coverage in a workbook aided lectures uh, that is something which will start from the 15th of february students also have a lot of questions about sir current affairs current affairs current affairs so current affairs is also going to be covered with you in a comprehensive manner with workbook aided lectures so whether uh, it is about uh, you know the relevant uh, news items which have been in discussion in the past one one and a half years to the discussions about economic survey, budget, India yearbook, all of those things, for example, uh, will be integrated into your teaching also. And whatever is relevant uh, to be included separately in the current affairs, that also will be included to give you a thorough 360 degree coverage of the uh, prelims from the MCQ centric approach uh, also in a matter of seven days, uh, along with workbook aided lectures. And also, uh, so that's, uh, that's largely the approach that we're going to uh, follow. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, I can say this with a lot of conviction that this program is something which has uh, always uh, reached out to uh, meaningful students, to serious students and has definitely enriched their preparation journey in the final leg of uh, preparing before the prelims examination. And we certainly hope that this would be useful for you as well. Lastly, coming to how the course is going to be delivered, the course is going to be delivered both uh, the course is going to be delivered in the offline mode also and in the online mode also. For the course to be delivered in the offline mode, uh, it will be conducted in Delhi and at our regional centers. The details of our regional centers can be seen at our website and uh, they'll be conducted at the regional centers as well. So uh, that's one thing. Uh, the other aspect is also about the, uh, the coverage of the course uh, in the sense that this is how the offline course will be conducted. You will be coming to the center. Classes will be held six days a week uh, and uh, you'll cover the whole course uh, having classes every day, six hours a day at the Delhi or at the regional centers. More importantly, uh, okay, one thing also is that the same course will also be available in the online format in the live format also. However, students who come for the offline uh, course will have only offline access. Students who come for the online mode will have only online access. So you can choose you can choose either of the two either offline or online okay so that's either of the two modes you can choose and in the online mode uh, each lecture will be available for a period of two days and for a maximum of two views okay and so each lecture will be available maximum for two days uh, on the website and also for a maximum of two views so that is something and all the online lectures will also come with the live question and answer session and all the live classes will come with the option where the students can ask their questions also and the teachers will resolve the doubts as well so this is how we largely going to conduct the course and i hope uh, that this gives you a broad sense about how you can utilize the crash course for your prelims examination thank you